I've released an ICM3 navigation system modification for the Saab 9.3, but a lot of you won't actually be able to use that because you won't have the ICM3. It's fairly rare these days and it's very difficult to get a hold of and very expensive. A lot of people though do have the ICM2, which is the green screened unit, which is what you can see here. So the kit that I've designed is going to turn it into this. And this is an ICM2 with a color touch screen and some really cool features that I think you'll like. So without physically connecting a phone to it, you can connect the phone via Bluetooth. And that means that you're gonna have audio and calls through the unit because it has a built-in microphone here as well. If you are listening to music though, the one thing to take note of is that there will not be any controls on the screen and it will not show you what you're listening to on the screen of this unit if you are only connected via Bluetooth. You can talk to the person using the hands free system, but you do physically need to answer the phone. So if I press play on my phone here, it's now connected and playing through the actual head unit itself. But as you see, I actually had to control it on my phone itself. Um, so it's very similar to having a cheapy um, Bluetooth system, but with a cool color screen on your dashboard. The benefit here is that it will work with an iPhone as well. The added benefit is that you have voice control. So I can still say, okay, Google, play some music. Sure, asking Spotify to play some music. Okay, Google, next track. Okay, Google, stop music. So the point is, Yes, it is the same as having a cheapy Bluetooth adapter in your car, but you have the added benefit of having a cool color screen and you have voice control. And the voice control should work with Siri on an iPhone as well. The majority of the functionality comes after you physically connect your phone to this unit. So this, the ICM2, requires that you plug in your phone using the USB. So if, as soon as you connect your phone, it will play whatever track that you were listening to the last time you was in the car. And um, it will show you the maps. So a disclaimer about the screen. It's small. This is actually the best screen that I could find at three and a half inches. It's capacitive touch screen, which means it reacts to uh, your, your fingertips and it doesn't actually require a stylus, but it's not great, okay? It, very, like the, it looks good, the color's great, um, the touch functionality is temperamental at best, um, but, it, but it does still function. Um, like you can, you can still use it, it's usable, but, um, but because the, the, the buttons are very small, it's, uh, it's, it's not as good as the larger touchscreen that you find on the ICM3. But this doesn't necessarily matter because um, what you would do when you're using the ICM2 is open Google Maps on your phone and, and set the navigation on your phone and then connect it to this unit. And then you won't need to try to uh, t type it in on a very, very small touchscreen. Or alternatively, you can go, okay, Google, Take me to Birmingham. Navigating to Birmingham. Head west on Swan Close towards Swan Road, then turn left onto Swan Road. So as you can see, it works wirelessly using your voice and, and that's a, a real benefit here because you won't need to touch the screen. Okay, Google, cancel navigation. So once your phone's connected, not only do you get navigation, but you also have total control over all of your audio. And this is where the actual system comes to life and you can, you can have your album art and you can control your music and you can answer the phone and you can do everything through the actual screen. So 
as long as you have an Android phone and it's connected via USB, all of this good stuff happens on the ICM2 ver variation. And the good thing about this as well is that taking out the old green screen removes no functionality from the ICM2 because it doesn't need it doesn't need the screen. All the radio stations, etc., all appear on the SID on your dashboard and not on the green screen. So you've basically updated your car without impacting any other features of your of your uh, of your vehicle.